Hello everybody, I am your host of Spicy Strawberry and today I have a guide for you on Johannes the Traitor on the game Rogue Legacy. Let's break down this boss, talk about his shenanigans, and get to the bread and butter of his kit and his spells. The first and foremost is the one where he shoots daggers out of his face. These can be dodged with a simple jump, but just be careful that you don't get shot in the face when going for an auto attack. Next is when he jumps up like a crazy person and throws axes everywhere. This is really easy to deal with, all you have to do is hit him while he's in midair and you can get off 2-3 to three free attacks before he hits the ground. Lastly, is the ability to put giant freaking swords on the ground next to your feet. Fight him away from his swords and you should be fine, as long as you're not running your face straight into them because you think they're oh so shiny. If you're feeling cornered, feel free to jump over them and dash away after dodging or being hurt. Lastly, remember that you both have the same size sword. When you swing at him, he can swing straight back into your face. So this really helps if you're gigantic and you can outrange him with your sword. But regardless, you should swing, run, then swing, then run. Using Blade Ball is also a mighty efficient way of making him run his face into a giant sharp blade and you can laugh at him on the other side all day long. Follow these strategies and before you know it, he'll turn back into his chimney dust and even Mary Poppins won't be able to break into song to save the day. And if you don't get that for reference, screw you, you didn't have a childhood. Anyway, the next phase is the fountain. He turns into the fountain of the youth that he has gained strength from, and Johannes is now a giant freaking monster. So dash over and take the monster's lunch and restore your health and mana because you probably have lost something because you're terrible at dodging like I am. Less than three. And even this guy's abs hurt. So hit him with the tip of your sword, try not to get near him, otherwise those abs are going to blow you away in amazement and you will be nothing. The first attack, he's going to go to the edge of the room, put his sword down and shoot a bunch of little daggers at you. It's kind of hard to dodge, but if you have a barbarian, you can fuss or dodge them away. If you are a Hokage, you can teleport away. If you're an Archmage, you can freeze time and jump around them. His next spell is where he dashes to the middle of the room, throws a sword down, and a bunch of spikes come out of the bottom. All you have to do is jump up on a platform, down punch it, and you'll be safe for the time being. His final spell is when he raises his sword towards the sky and it brings a bunch of swords out the bottom. All you have to do is stand between the cracks and you'll be fine. And if you get cornered like that, all you have to do is jump over his head and dodge away. The only thing I can't teach you how to do is to dodge. If you're doing all these things perfectly and you keep getting hit, I can't help you there. If you just need you just need to learn how to better to dodge. I can't help you. And you should never get hit by his sword. Those attacks are so slow, swinging that massive sword. It's got to be a thousand pounds. Even he can't lift it. If you can't dodge it, then you, you shouldn't be doing the final boss yet. Get some more health. Be a barbarian instead of a freaking archmage, and maybe you can survive some more. And maybe, maybe you'll make it. Maybe just by the skin of your teeth. And your teeth don't even have skin, so I don't understand that phrase, but it makes sense if you think about it. But I tried this boss when I was 75, and then again when I was 90, and then again when I was 100. It took me at least 20 tries or more. I don't know how many to beat this guy. So don't feel bad if you die doing everything perfect on your first try. So I hope you like the guys. Remember to give it a like, and subscribe if you're not subscribed for more guides and whatever the hell else that I feel like doing. So, I was going to make more boss guides on this, but then I got to the last boss and I just settled with making a last boss guide, and I think it turned out pretty well, so, thank you so much. I'm going to let the ending play out for those of you that want to see the ending. So, here you go. Enjoy. Have a nice day. Stay happy. Kakuna Matava. Thank you, face. What a beautiful moment this is. Oh.